Hi, welcome back to building an iOS app with C Sharp. This is module four. Uh, the first video, this is going to be the first module with multiple videos. Um, this first video, we're going to just give an overview of the services we will be building throughout this module. Normally, I wouldn't do all the services up front. I, I just think it's going to make this video series easier to record, easier to plan, and you know, it's going to save switching and changing context all the time if, if we have all the services that that we know we're going to need built out ahead of time. So that's what we're going to do in this module. So the services are, first of all, a logger service, which will give us, of course, the ability to log um, in, various, in various ways. After that, we'll do a scheduler service. A scheduler is a, a reactive extensions concept that defines where some piece of work will run, i.e. what thread or, or what context. Um, so our scheduler service will give us the ability to get a scheduler or get different schedulers so we can tell reactive extensions where to run our work. We're going to need a state service of some type so that we can store and restore the state of the application when the user puts it to the background or, or tombstones it or exits or whatever it's called on that platform. Uh, delay service, which is a bit of a strange one, but if you think about what's involved in um, an exercise program from a computational point of view it's, it's mainly just waiting around for the person to do the exercises um, so we want to encapsulate this idea of delaying into a service so that we can easily unit test and very quickly unit test um, any scenarios that, that would normally delay for a long time. A document service is going to give us the ability to actually load an exercise program document. Um, I'm thinking at this point uh, of, of storing the document in, in iCloud so that you could go and uh, just as a text file um, so you could go and edit the text file on your Mac which contains um, your exercise programs and then save it and then you know moments later it would appear on your iPad or iPhone whatever you're using. Audio service um, will allow us to play some audio of course so we'll need some sound effects for various um, we need some sound effects for certain actions in exercise programs, like you might want some kind of timing, like a metronome, so that um, as you're doing the exercise it gives you, it gives you timing information uh, in an audio fashion. Speech service, so that the exercise, uh, so that the program can actually talk to you, um, tell you what exercise you're doing, uh, whether you're having a break or, or whatever it might be. And finally, the system notifications service, which will hook into, in our case, the iOS system, notif system notifications infrastructure, um, so that we can be notified of when the user changes their dynamic type setting in iOS. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it just allows the user to say, look, this is, this is how big I want the text. Um, you know, I, I want bigger text or I want smaller text throughout the entire throughout my entire iOS experience. Um, hooking into that is a, is a nice to have, but I think it's kind of important for this application in particular because people are going to be looking at the screen from a distance, if, if at all, but when they do look at it, it'll be from a distance and we, if they want the text bigger, we should make sure that we, um, we should uh, honour that by hooking into this um, notifications and dynamically changing the text size as they change it. So that's the services I have planned. I've, I've done quite a bit of thinking about this to make sure that we don't miss anything. Um, but obviously, if we do, we, we'll come back to that as we, you know, in later modules. So in the next video of this module, we'll actually start on implementation. I think we'll do the logger service first. In fact, I think we'll probably roughly do it in the order I've listed them here. All right. So I'll catch you then.